Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I want to talk about all the major banners that us global players can expect to see in the game within the next, I'll say, four to six months. And the main reason I love making these videos is because I want you guys to be prepared. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to know exactly what's happening so that you can properly budget your Dragon Stones, especially for you free-to-play players out there. You don't have a lot of Dragon Stones to throw around, right? So being prepared like this and knowing exactly what's on the horizon is super, super helpful. I don't want someone out there to like blow their load or completely splurge on one banner and uh, potentially regret it later on because they didn't know, you know, something better was around the corner, right? So for that reason, we're gonna do this video today. And uh, before I get started, I just wanna say that I will try to present these banners in the order that I think they'll most likely come out in, but at the same time, at this point you guys know that Bandai likes to change things up sometimes when it comes to global compared to JP releases, so you know, they very well could be released in a different order than I present them. So if you guys are okay with that, then keep watching and uh, you know, let's jump right into it. Now I'm sure as most of you know, the current banner we have on global right now is the Int Kid Goku banner. and. While it's not the worst banner out there, in fact, it's actually not that bad of a banner at all. It's also just not very hype either. And I feel like 95%, if not more, of the global player base has already committed to completely skipping it. So we're not gonna spend too much time on this one. We're just gonna move on to the next thing. And as far as the next thing goes, it's actually not time for the four year anniversary banners yet because there's enough time between the end of the Kid Goku banner and the beginning of the four-year anniversary on Global, which should be sometime in the middle of July for a mini filler celebration in between. And based on what I've seen out there, uh, mainly from our boy Kawai on Twitter, we're most likely, it seems, um, going to be getting a LR banner or Legendary Summon banner, so a non Dokkan Fest LR banner. And it could be one of two options. We're going to start with the one that is most likely a lot less hype for people, and that would be the LR Beerus featured banner. Now, I know there are a lot of Beerus fans out there, and I'm not trying to offend you guys, but let's be real. I mean, once you see what the next banner is, you'll understand. Okay, so. LR Beerus Banner, here are the featured units, and as far as a Legendary Summon Banner goes, it's actually not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I mean, to be fair, the standards for these kind of banners um, is pretty low, right? But as you can see, we got the Tech God Coup, we got um, STR, Rage, Vegeta, and Bulma, we have Weiris, um, Supreme West Kai is a really good support as well. Overall, not too bad of a banner, not the most hype, but keep in mind this is going to be a filler. They're just trying to fill some time between now and the real hype, which is the four-year anniversary. Now, this is option one of two, and the other banner, like I said, that is way, way more hype for majority of people is the LR Kale and Khalifla banner. Now, in my opinion, I still feel like, and I think that's what Kawhi said as well, um, we still believe that this banner is coming after the four-year anniversary, but there is a small chance that this could be the filler between now and four-year. And, um, you know, part of me wants it because I really want the Kale and Khalifla like a lot of people. But on the other hand, it's going to be really hard to skip this banner if it does come out before the four-year anniversary. It's going to be the ultimate trap and um, it's just going to put people in a really tough spot. So part of me wants it, part of me doesn't want it because I want to be able to like have some time to save after the four-year because I'm pretty much going to splurge and blow my entire load on that. Uh, but anyways, here is the Kale and Khalifa banner, which could potentially, very small chance, uh, be the filler banner between now and four year. This banner's also got a new STR Kale and a new Tech Khalifa, both of which are really solid units. It's also got Tech Bula, who's an absolutely amazing support. Kefla is also still really good. Tech 18 is really good. So overall, great, great banner. I mean, I wouldn't say great. I would say, once again, for a legendary summon banner, quite solid. And uh, hopefully it doesn't come out between now and four year because it's just gonna be a really hard skip and I don't want people to be in that position. But anyways, let's move on now to the thing that you guys all have all been waiting for and that of course would be the four year anniversary banners and there's the uh, Goku banner right here and the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner. It's gonna be a dual Dokkan fest. We'll start with the Goku banner here first. Of course, um, they're absolutely insane banners. There's not much else to say except for the fact that the value is 
out of control. Like there's just so much value in both of these banners and that's why people, myself included, have kept telling you guys over and over again over the past couple months, maybe even past um, half a year, to save most of your stones because as you can see, the value is out of control, guys. We got LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku there, who is one of the best units, top three, top five in the game. Um, we got the transforming Goku. We got STR Jiren, who is still fantastic. I'm actually still missing him, so I'm really hoping I can pull him here. Um, we got this Kaioken Goku, who isn't that exciting right now, but he does get a uh, Dokkan Awakening that makes him very, very good. And uh, we also got LR... Vegito or Goku and Vegeta, but you know, they become LR Vegito as you can see here, obviously, uh, from the three year anniversary, and they're still, I'd say, in the top 10 as far as units go. Um, we also got UI Goku, we got Int Golden Frieza, and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. Now, I understand that for some people, like these guys, might not be super hyped because a lot of you probably already tapped them rainbowed if you've been playing for a while. But, I mean, for a majority of the player base, this is a very, very good banner. And in fact, this is actually, to a lot of people, the worst one out of the two Super Saiyan 4 banners. Now we're going to move on to the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner. It's got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, of course. And the other highlight is the LR Gogeta. And also it's got MVP 17. It's got Transforming Frieza, who I don't have. Um, it's got SSBE Vegeta. It's got AGL Turles, still one of if not the best support units in the game um and we also got this dude here who also will get a uh, dokkan awakening with the four year anniversary and uh super saiyan 4 vegeta of course the original agl one so yeah there we go guys these are the featured units for the uh super saiyan well actually there could be changes and i guess i should have said this like earlier in the video when i first started but um i'm using this as a basis because we really don't have any other way of knowing like what's coming right the only way we can see what's coming on global is by seeing what happened on jp but sometimes they do make changes to these banners as well so the super saiyan 4 goku banner might not look exactly like this the super saiyan 4 vegeta banner what might not look exactly like this but um i would say that they're gonna be very similar and if there are changes it would just be like one maybe two units at the most and um the value is still gonna be there so these two banners are definitely uh, gonna be very very worth your stones I would say if not spending all your stones then spend like you, you can feel okay about spending the majority of your stones on these banners all right so those are the Super Saiyan 4s the dual Dokkan Fest for the four year anniversary and that's for part one of the four year anniversary and then for part two of the four year anniversary we're actually gonna be getting two new brand new LRs in the game and uh, they are gonna be LR Baby and well i mean i can still show you the the lr art as well so there's lr baby right there and also the lr gt trio of goku pan and uh and trunks <laughs> i can't i can't believe i forgot his name yeah goku pan and trunks and uh both of them are quite solid i'm actually not too sure how good baby is compared to other lrs but i do know that the gt trio can hit extremely extremely hard on their own team and um you know they're both worth going for for sure and the cool thing is this is the first lr banner like you know non dokkan fest lr banner that features two brand new um lrs which does make the value of this banner a lot higher than most legendary summon banners and um if you guys are fans of gt then obviously you'll really want these two um as far as the rest of the banner goes it's really not the most exciting um, of course, it's the GT theme going on here. We got the GT Trunks here, we got GT Pen, we got um, GT Goku, and other GT characters. None of them are very hype, in my opinion. Maybe you guys really like them, but um, yeah, I mean, the main reason to summon on this banner is definitely because it has two featured new LRs. So that's for part two. Yeah, that's for part two of the 40th anniversary. And then if we keep moving forward, um, you know, there's some other stuff, some category banners and stuff, but we're not going to pay too much attention to that. We already got the Kid Goku banner, um, the EZA banner for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much about like EZA banners and filler banners and stuff like that because, you know, I don't think you guys care that much, right? Uh, we already got the Transforming Vegeta banner, which JP did get after the 4-year anniversary. Um, these ones we already got, uh, they got a Tech Hit banner, and I don't think we're going to get 
another banner for tech hit this doesn't make sense but hopefully he'll come back actually maybe tech hit will come back for the four year anniversary and replace one of those units on um the super saiyan 4 banners who knows maybe that'd be nice anyway so we're gonna move on here now we got kale and khalifla and uh the next thing we have on the docket is the other major dual doka fest that is on the horizon for global and that would be the trunks and zamasu and um to a lot of people these banners are good enough to actually skip the four year anniversary now i personally wouldn't recommend it but I can see where people are coming from. I, I kind of understand where they're coming from. Because if you look at these banners, um, I, I'll, I'll stop talking. I'll just, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. So we got this new transforming uh, Trunks. And he is very, very good. Very, very solid. He is a dual category leader. Um, actually, no, not dual category. My bad. So he is a super type leader and also a future uh, saga leader. And he brings with him on this banner... LR, sorry, not LR. I mean, he might as well be an LR, but Gogeta Blue, right? Gogeta Blue first return on Global, most likely at that time. Um, and also Future Trunks, who's. Uh, did I say Future Trunks? Future Gohan. Future Gohan, my bad. Um, also, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, Tech Vegeta Blue. And I mean, these guys aren't the most hyped, but you know, they could get Extreme Z Awakenings in the future, so you never know. But I mean,. <laughs> I think the trunks and the new trunks that is the Vegito Blue, the Gogeta Blue, the SSBE, and Future Gohan um, should be enough for most people. So that's the trunks banner, really, really good. But also, there's the Zamasu banner here with Zamasu himself. Um, just like trunks, fantastic. In fact, a lot of people are saying that he is better than the trunks. And. Um, I'm still a little bit undecided about that, but I mean, both of them are very good. Both of them are very, very good. And we got the Dragon Ball Super Broly on this banner. We got uh, Int Rose. We got AGL Turles. STR Rose. Uh, Tech Fusamasu. Still really good to this day. And uh, the original AGL Rose, who once again could get Extreme Z Awakening in the future and make him really, really good once again. Um, so these banners, like this Dual Dual Confest, I would expect to come sometime around Thanksgiving for um, Global, and that would be like, I forgot actually when Thanksgiving exactly is in the States. Sometime in November, maybe beginning of November, something like that. And um, they are definitely, definitely worth saving stones for. So, I mean, prior to knowing about this Dual Dokkan Fest, I would tell you guys to just, you know, spend all your stones for four years. Like, don't worry about it. But now that we know these banners are coming, especially if you guys are like me and never pulled Gogeta Blue and never pulled Dragon Ball Super Broly, you might want to save some stones for this one too. And just make sure that you have, um, you know, a store of stones saved up by the time that these banners come because you do not want to miss them. They also have the uh, 3 plus 1 discounts for these ones. So uh, good value for your stones, um, both in the sense of just like the discount, but also because the units are awesome. So there is the Dual Dolkan Fest for Trunks and Zamasu. And uh, what else do we have here? Oh! So sometime in between, and I already messed up my like order already, but don't worry about it. I'm sure you guys understand. Sometime in between, maybe around this time, or maybe before it, like between um, sometime between four year and the Dual Dolkan Fest for Trunks and Zamasu, we probably should, I think, get a uh, another step up banner like the one we got for New Year's and the one that JP got, you know, a little while ago. Um, and this one, if you guys don't know what it's all about, basically, I mean, first of all, look at the featured units, and when you guys first see it, you're like, what is going on? Like, why, you know, why are there so many units? So the way this step up banner works is that there are five different steps, and um, for each step, you are guaranteed a different type of unit. So for the first step, it's only 20 stones, and you're guaranteed an Extreme Z Awakenable unit. For the second step, it's 40 stones, and you're guaranteed a, a super type lead. For the third step, it's 40 stones, you're guaranteed an extreme type lead. For the fourth step, 50 stones, but you're guaranteed a Dokkan Fest. No, sorry, you're guaranteed a uh, category leader. So it could be UI Goku, it could be Future Gohan, it could be. Um, I don't think Gogeta Blue and Dragon Ball Super Broly are on there because they're too new, but it could be like. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which I'm sure a lot of people don't want, and uh, so on and so forth. And for the last step, and this is the most hype thing, last step, 50 stones for a guaranteed LR. And 
that's just insane, man. I mean, I remember back in the day, and this is gonna date me a little bit, it's gonna make me seem like an old man, but I remember back in the day when like people were spending thousands of stones to pull one LR, like one LR Gohan, and now they have a 200 stone step up with a guaranteed LR at the end. That's just crazy to me. Now, it's not gonna have all the LRs, it's gonna have most of them though, and um, you know, the value is just awesome. So I guess at all times, like regardless of like, you know, what banner you're saving for or you expect to come, just always make sure you have at least 200 stones left over for whenever this drops, because I would recommend almost everybody to summon on this one, unless you're like a huge whale, like the truth or something like that, like or someone like him, this banner is useless because <laughs> he's probably gonna pull it too, he already has rainbowed, right? Um, but for the majority of players, and if you're like the average person, especially if you're the average like free-to-play player, um, you can't skip a banner like this. So I'm not 100% sure when they're gonna drop this, but I do think it's gonna be, um, you know, sometime within the next six months. I think Global will get it too, just for the purpose of fairness. And um, it's gonna be awesome once it comes out. Now for this one, I believe it was only a one-time rotation for the New Year New Year banner. It was a, uh, you could do it up to two times, but for I think for this one, it was only one time, which it's still really good. It's, it's still just great value right there. So that's the step up banner right there. And um, I think there's only one last thing that's really noteworthy here, and that would be the uh, transforming Namek Goku. Sorry, Namek Goku. I, I kept saying Namek in the past. I don't know why exactly. Maybe I watched someone that said Namek and it just stuck in my mind. Either way, it doesn't matter. Namek Goku. Namek. And uh, we're going to move down here to the featured units. Now, some people were okay with this banner. Some people were a little bit disappointed by the banner. I think people had very high expectations for this banner based on how you know, the Trunks and Zamasu banners were, but you can't expect every single Dokkan Fest banner to be like those banners, right? Because Banda's not that generous, okay? <laughs> They're not that generous. I, I'm just trying to be real. And uh, this is what the banner looked like. So we got the transforming Goku here. He is absolutely awesome. But the main thing about him is his category, man. His category, the Super Saiyan category, is out of control. It's got both um, the Dragon Ball Super Gogeta, Dragon Ball Super Broly. It's got the uh, tech LR Broly, if you guys were lucky enough to pull him. It's got LR Gogeta, LR Vegito, and just crazy, crazy stuff, man. So I, I really want it mainly for his leader skill. And it's also got the transforming Goku, transforming Frieza, uh, Angel Golden Frieza, tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku, tech Golden Frieza, which at this point, when the scanner actually comes out on Global, I expect to... Um, most likely have an Extreme Z Awakening as well, and his Extreme Z Awakening is very, very good. Like, super, super, I want to say overpowered, but like, powerful for sure. And uh, we also got this new AGL uh, Frieza 2, Final Form Frieza, who is a really strong non toka Fest unit. Very similar to, um, well, I was going to say very similar to the Wrathful Broly, but like, their mechanics are not exactly the same, but... They're, they're similar in the sense that they're both really good non tokan Fest uh, units, right? So there he is. Awesome, awesome unit. And I think that might just do it for the video because we haven't seen anything else on Global or on JP uh, up to this point. We got some, you know, category banners. We got the uh, Int Buhan Extreme Z Awakening banner. And I mean, look at this. It's it's, it's not great. <laughs> it's, it's really not great. So. Uh, probably skip that one. So that is pretty much going to do it for the video guys. Just as a quick recap, the next banner that we're going to get is most likely going to be an LR banner as that for that filler celebration. So either LR Beerus or LR Kale and Khalifla. Now, just to cover my own ass, I'm not sure. Just want to be clear. I don't know for sure. It could be something else, but that's most likely what we're going to get. And then after that is when the four year anniversary is going to start with the Goku and Vegeta banner. And then the um, part two of the four year anniversary is going to be the GTLR's dual um, legendary summon banner. I mean, not dual, but like they're gonna, both going to be in one banner. And then after that um, is probably probably gonna be the uh trunk oh actually let me let me think about this um well i mean for for whichever of the lr banners we don't get like uh the lr beers or lr kelly khalifla we're probably gonna get that one after the four year i think um or it could be a global exclusive too see here's the thing with global right there are so many different changes they've been making from like compared to the jp side these days especially with like exclusive LRs and stuff like that, that they could drop something new that I have, you know, no idea about right now. So that's also a possibility. 
But uh, sometime after the four year, we should get the uh, Trunks and Zamasu dual Dokkan Fest. I've been talking so much that I, I just can't talk anymore. Um, so we should get that dual Dokkan Fest sometime after the four year. And uh, that's definitely worth saving for. And then we'll also get the Namek Goku at some point too. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a solid banner. Solid banner, not, not the best, but not bad at all either. That's pretty much it, guys. And I hope that this video will help some of you who, um, you know, like budgeting your stones and making sure that you have enough stones for certain banners or certain units you want. That was the whole point, right? I want to help you guys out. So hopefully I was able to accomplish that goal in some way. And that's gonna do it for the video guys. As always, if you guys like the video, actually before we do that, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a comment down below letting me know which of these banners that we talked about is the one that you're the most looking forward to. It could be Kaelin Khalifa, like a lot of people. It could be, you know, the Trunks banner, the Zamasu banner. Uh, maybe you want that Namek Goku more than anything because of his insane animations and insane category. Whatever it is, don't be ashamed to let me know in the comments down below. And uh, that's pretty much gonna do it. As always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be back with another Dokkan video very soon. You guys are awesome. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.